flat to see. It looks like he just wrecked uh, that poor minesweeping guy. And here we have it right out on the field right now. Uh, the Burgers uh, Puma is out here, and of course he does have this big 50 millimeter cannon. Uh, really good at anti-vehicle warfare, so that thing is going to be kind of trying to hunt down the Greyhound. Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, poor wounded <laughs> minesweeping pioneer coming back home here. Northern position, you can see uh, anti-tank gun, a couple of riflemen just hanging out by this victory point, and uh, Greyhound just kind of prowling around this area here. So only only light, light control over this victory point, uh, but for the time being, you know, uh, looks like Pro-Pipe is ahead. Burgess Puma now moving on out, backed up by Vokes, and just kind of a, a Puma party going on right here. Uh, it looks like AFK Ninja might be getting a little bit antsy. Perhaps he realizes that... Uh, there's a lot of units on the right-hand side of the map. Maybe we'll see an attack coming out of him. Uh, I, I think that in this kind of a situation, it's usually not a bad idea to rush on in and do some damage to the base, but we'll have to see if that happens or not. We do have the Stormtroopers moving on out, nice and infiltrated. And uh, the Venerable Vokes doing their best against this Greyhound, but not having a lot of luck. Here we have it now, double Panzer Shreks and the Burgers uh, Puma moving on out. Uh, getting some nice rear armor hits there. Oh, gunner kill, just ejecting that guy with the force of that shot. Uh, putting some more pressure in here. And uh, you can see it looks like, oh, armor-piercing rounds are activated on this anti-tank gun. So that is not good news here for this Puma armored car. He's going to have to get the heck on out of the way. And he just barely gets out of the way here. Uh, but now, of course, the Greyhound is putting some pressure on that thing. Uh, Burgers Puma is facing the wrong way. Oh, just everybody's kind of making lots of little mistakes here. This could go bad for either player. Looks like that Greyhound is just getting out of the way here. Uh, this Puma armored car just getting out of the range of this anti-tank gun. The anti-tank gun taking a little bit of casualties here, and we just have crazy vehicle warfare going on. Main gun destroyed on that Greyhound way up there in the distance, and uh, it looks like, oh no, the Puma has just backed up into the field of fire, the anti-tank gun. Puma getting wrecked. Uh, Burgers Puma now with a sticky bomb on its tail. Oh, the sticky bomb takes out Burgers Puma. So kind of a big loss here for everybody. I do believe that Greyhound was able to get on out of there. And now just the Puma left in the middle, uh, wrecking away at these uh, riflemen here. Pro Pipes, Vet 2 Rifleman with 11 kills and one light vehicle kill. Uh, probably going to have to retreat on out of there. It looks like this uh, Greyhound number car is quickly being repaired, though. And uh, for the time being, uh, that was just kind of a, an exchange of units there. Really no gain uh, for either player. Uh, a little a little bit of a gain for, for AFK, maybe just because he has a fully functional Puma left over after all that, but really he lost two Pumas during that. Uh, meanwhile, just kind of fighting away here. Um, you know, this Puma, if it keeps its distance, can do pretty good damage against these guys, but eventually it's going to get sticky bombed, so he has to keep backing up like this. Uh, but he, if anybody will find him, you can see Propipe uh, looking for blood here. Oh, and he does find him, and he does retreat the Stormtroopers there. That was kind of cute. Uh, meanwhile, the Greyhound armored car now moving on out, backed up by an anti-tank gun. But the anti-tank gun looking a little bit exposed here. Uh, he actually moved a little bit too far forward now, and double Pumas uh, shooting away from behind that anti-tank gun. Definitely going to wreck that thing. Uh, he has to get out of here, though, quickly because he he is in danger of being sticky bombed. Uh, but the Pumas here still doing a lot of damage to these infantry. You can see there's a squad here with just one gentleman left. This guy definitely needs to retreat. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Of course, that squad picked up the uh, anti-tank gun, so that's what's going on there. Uh, meanwhile, we do have a little bit of supporting fire going on for this heavy machine gun team on the right-hand side. Uh, and on the left-hand side, just one heavy machine gun team. So notice how useful having all of this uh, static defense is, is that you can hold on to the entire left-hand side of the map with one HMG team. Greyhound armored car getting a little ambitious, coming in here, putting some pressure on some of these guys. That's fine. Uh, this heavy machine gun team can't really touch an uh, armored Greyhound like that. Wounded Puma here, going to have to back on up. Oh, we do have a strafing run coming through there right now. Oh, look at that strafing run. Basically killing all but one of the stormtroopers and damaging the engine on this Puma armored car. That's not good. Uh, it looks like it looks like these field pioneers here are just completing repairs on this left-hand uh, Puma. Uh, perhaps they will get on in on this Puma right now, but no! Oh, the Greyhound armored car, knowing that there's this, pretty much carried this fight out indefinitely as long as he's careful about his micro. Uh, but now the anti-tank gun is set up and rotated in the correct position, and he just has to get on out of there. Uh, anti-tank gun kind of whiffing on two shots there, so that's okay. And now Prep Pipe getting a little bit ambitious and moving on in, uh, perhaps trying to challenge this, uh, this control over this area a little bit, not wanting to lose that victory point. Uh, moving around with double squads of Browning Automatic Riflemen. Uh, Volks Grenadiers hanging out. Puma hanging out. Uh, let's take a look in the south here. We can see new Pumas out on the battlefield as well. And uh, looking up in the north, we can see new anti-tank gun and Greyhound is almost completely done being repaired here. So uh, I'm going to take a look right now and swap on over to Pro Pipe since I've been focusing on uh, AFK Ninja for a little while now. So note the change in colors on the minimap. And uh, we can see this Puma is just prowling around. And now AFK Ninja finally, after all of that, is settling down and uh, capping this victory point right now. Uh, he's got a approximately, you know, 
two thirds of this map, maybe seventy five percent of this map, somewhere like that. So he's definitely in control in terms of in terms of. Uh, oh, and look at that! While I'm just chattering away here, the stormtroopers got a nice little flank uh, and absolutely destroyed that anti tank gun, and uh, now are likely just going to go ahead and retreat on out of here. Oh nope, they're just going to go ahead and infiltrate away uh, and get camouflaged there. So. Uh, Puma Armored Car right now just trying to back these guys up because they are being hunted very, very thoroughly right now. Uh, trying to hide in the corner just to see if damage, uh, damaged Puma here wants to come in and see if he can get the kill. Looks like his gunner just got killed though. Uh, can he do it? Oh, with one lucky shot, he does take out the wounded Puma. Uh, that was a nice little risk there, and it looks like he's now just going to get on out of there, uh, exchanging a few more blows before retreating. So, uh, not a bad snipe there indeed. On the left-hand side, another Puma just moving around for AFK Ninja. These are Vet 2 Pumas now, by the way. So uh, the Puma Warfare is on. And just south of his Storm Armor, you can see that AFK Ninja is now building a Panzer Command. So uh, going to see some sort of armor in the field. Uh, definitely at an advantage right now in terms of fuel. Uh, his opponent has two fuel. But, uh, he, you know, it's looking okay. Looking towards the middle right now, we can see ah, uh, he's just gonna just gonna pack it up and get on out of there. So I do think that it looks like Pro Pipe has been able to take control of this side of the map for the time being right now. Uh, Puma armored car moving in just to try and uh, provide a little bit of support to help that heavy machine gun team get on out of there. And another adventurous Puma moving around here in the north. Uh, let's take a look and see what this guy's doing. He is getting fired at kind of wildly by this one far, far back anti-tank gun. And we do have some paratroopers moving in as well. So uh, definitely the fighting is happening right around this victory point for the time being here. We'll have to see who's going to end up in control of it. AFK Ninja sort of has control over the territory here, but uh, Pro Pipe definitely has control over the victory point. You can see uh, two very sneaky stormtrooper squads moving on in, uh, likely lying in wait. And uh, over and over again, Pro Pipe just using this uh, scouting plan here just to keep an eye on what's going on in the battlefield. Uh, these are uh, AFK Ninja mines here in the center of the road. So I think uh, Pro Pipe is being a little bit wary of that, but we'll have to see if anything comes of that. Uh, meanwhile, stormtroopers oh, uh, just retreating away right there. I think uh, realizing they were seen by the, by the scouting plane, not wanting to get strafed, uh, just getting on out of there. And here we have it now. So, Volk's Grenadiers finally capping this victory point. Will they be able to do it, or will they get strafed to death? Uh, now is the time to find that out. Uh, it looks like he doesn't quite have enough munitions, but uh, perhaps he did drop a power drop earlier. He hasn't picked up his power drop yet, so he could always pick that up and strafe. We'll have to see if that's going to happen. Uh, on the left-hand side, it looks like the Greyhound Armored Car found those landmines that we were talking about before. Uh, so he got his engine pretty thoroughly destroyed there. And uh, meanwhile, things are looking things are looking pretty reasonable here for AFK Ninja. He's now got two victory points. Uh, he is down 333 points versus Pro Pipe's 451 points. But AFK Ninja is sort of up in terms of uh, army size and uh, map control, I believe. Here we have it. Nice, nice, strong push coming from Pro Pipe right now. Uh, running on in. Oh, look at that nice little strafing run, completely taking out uh, that heavy machine gun team and pinning the rest of this minesweeper squad. And uh, just kind of covering uh, covering the covering the entrance here of all of these riflemen moving on in. So we've got riflemen and airborne just kind of charging on in right now. Uh, we do have a couple of Volkswagen hanging out in this building. And, ooh, God, these guys who just who just pushed on in through this doorway uh, just got wrecked by double Puma fire there. But that might be all the time he needs to be able to get this capped. He is decapping the victory point. And uh, I do believe we have, uh, looks like, two recoilless rifles. One recoilless, yeah, two recoilless rifles up for these paratroopers. Uh, so they'll be taking a shot at these Pumas pretty soon here. Uh, if they can finish that cap, because it looks like the riflemen are having to retreat right now, taking tons of damage. Oh, and they do not quite finish it. It looks like instead they're choosing to fire away at these close field pioneers and now just uh, getting kind of shot up by both of these Pumas here. So uh, looking on the left-hand side of the map, you can still see uh, this one heavy machine gun team just uh, being able to take care of business. Uh, looks like he's rotating it very slightly just so it's pointing towards these riflemen that are likely coming towards him very soon. And uh, meanwhile, we do have double uh, stormtroopers, which were just revealed by that scout plane. Puma charging on in here, full speed, really aggressive Puma, uh, just kind of hunting around, knowing that a lot of troops just retreated. He wants to come on in, try his hand at a flank. Uh, looks like he does see this anti-tank gun up here. Will he try to get that? Oh, uh, perhaps he is just on the other side of the map right now, not quite paying attention. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like just kind of hanging out here in the middle. A little bit of little bit of playing footsie here between this Greyhound armored car and this uh, and this Puma. And uh, I do believe that that Puma just started getting pegged by that anti-tank gun. Is now backing away from the middle here. So. 
Ooh, looks like a nice little split going down the center once again, but now this time... Oh, and both! Both Pumas hit the same mine at the same time, destroying the engine on one Puma and completely out of controlling the other Puma. That is not good at all. Serious losses right now, and and this Greyhound armor car knows what's going on. Uh, he's putting the hurt down. Oh, no, and he himself hits a mine, backs over it, damages his engine. Uh, kind of no win for anybody there. I thought he was going to cruise on in and, and take a shot at these guys, but it doesn't matter. And while all of this was going on, AFK Ninja has been manpower blitzing out of his uh, out of his uh, uh, Blitzkrieg command there. You can see he's fully upgraded these guys. He's got double veterancy right now on his uh, Panzers. So they do have the MG42 gunners uh, and the extra barrel there. Man, just the landmines going off in the center right now. Nobody's having any luck. Uh, this is pretty much no man's land by mid or late game uh, if you haven't been paying close attention. Uh, and these guys just doing the Kool-Aid Man entrance here, uh, wrecking that wall, and then just kind of backing off. So AFK Ninja at a serious advantage right now if you can uh, leverage these... Uh, this armor at this point in the game. Let's take a look at AFK Ninja's point of view right now. So do note the change in minimap color. Uh, and like I said, it is 30, 333 points for AFK Ninja versus 415 for Pro Pipe, but AFK Ninja is now ahead 2 to 1. Uh, Stormtroopers hanging out in the middle, looking pretty fancy there. Oh, and we had just a nice little strafing one right there, uh, killing three out of the four of the Pioneers standing around here and uh, doing some extra damage to that Puma armored car, uh, but just barely surviving that. So that was an interesting strafing one right there. Meanwhile, we do have these uh, Stormtroopers here in the middle, and it looks like they don't quite want to engage there just yet, uh, but we do have double Panzers here in the center, so Panzers are going to turn their fire perhaps uh, to these Riflemen, but perhaps not. Just moving on up. And it looks like he's getting a little bit uh, hes getting a little bit ambitious here. Maybe going to move on up towards his base, maybe. Uh, we'll see what's going on here. Meanwhile, Vox Grandeur's in the south. Uh, Pioneer's here just hanging out. And, uh, ooh, I do hear a little bit of Rathatata going on over here. Yes, we do have this uh, repossessed uh, heavy machine gun team right now firing away. Uh, just getting utterly annihilated, though, by a combination of Greyhound fire and Browning Automatic Rifle fire. And uh, it looks like this nice little attack here uh, by Pro Pipe is going to take control of this area for the time being. Uh, backed up by a nice anti-tank gun there in the back. Uh, but check this out. It looks like AFK Ninja, uh, getting a little bit impatient here, just wants to just really, really, really thrust on in uh, to Pro Pipe's base here. So... Uh, he's going to be taking out uh, this machine gun nest, likely. One more shot will probably do it. And uh, I'm guessing he's going to use this as a distraction. And then as he pulls back Pro Pipe's units, uh, cap some, cap, make some lasting caps on the battlefield right now. So uh, double Panzer's moving on. What is this vehicle back here? This is the Puma armored car. And man, 